Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for May 20th through the 26th. This is for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up May 20th through the 26th. What do we have? What's going to happen for Virgo? That's what I would like to know. What's going to happen for Virgo? 20th through the 26th. Now, keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you. Or if you're in a happily ever after relationship, then I don't know why you're watching tarot readings. So, let's see what we got for Virgo. boy the knight of swords so this is somebody rushing like in a hurry you know charging right in so somebody is like whoo here i come and somebody may want you to give them a chance you know somebody may want to, somebody may want you to give that you know be in a relationship with them they may want you to give them a chance you may not even see this coming out of the blue Mm. somebody you know i'm not somebody's coming with some sort of offer this is a message and it's like they have something stable to offer you it's a big offer this could even be an apology this is somebody who finds those that moral backbone to take action to start over this could be an apology I'm not sure, or it could be something new. Somebody's offering you something that is stable, seriously. This Queen of Wands, there could have been another woman. Or you could have been the other woman. Huh. Okay, the time is now to come together. They may have some, you know, I'm not sure if this is somebody, this could be a reconciliation. I'm not sure. This is the time. The time is now to come. Somebody is coming right now, soon, very soon. Maybe they've changed. Or somebody's been enlightened. Somebody has been enlightened. We have Sagittarius, we have Pisces, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, um, could be any sign, but th this is no longer resisting change, and this is, a change has happened. Somebody may have changed. And they may be coming in with some honest communication that, you know, I don't know. Ooh, tower moment. Yay. So somebody's had some sort of rude awakening of some sort. I have. Somebody may have been holding on to a false sense of security. Could have been another person. The wrong one. Maybe they've gotten unstuck from that, whatever it is, because this is a, starting with a clean slate. Some We have a big change here. The tower is a big change as well. Life change. Change, change, change. So somebody is changing their mind or they're changing their direction or they've changed internally. A major change here. Major, major, major. So yeah, we have a major change. Something is going to happen, I think, uh, you don't even see it coming. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We got a golden opportunity. And this is a gold. This is a big, huge opportunity. Somebody has manifested or they've... Well, this is manifestation. This is a gift. Somebody could be giving you a gift... <laughs> I don't know what this is, but and I don't say this very often, but this could be a ring. 
and I don't know why, but I just happened to see the ring. My eyes went right to the ring. So I don't know what the hell this is. But, and it's, somebody could be getting a ring because I, I had an issue with my rings before I turned on this reading. Oh my God. I was messing with my rings. And I didn't even put any on this hand. So, weird. Weird. Somebody could be getting a ring and you don't expect it. It's unexpected. So I don't know who that is for, but, um, wow, I'm getting the chills too. So somebody has been trapped in their own prison. This is prison. And this is government. This is acting with integrity, doing the right thing. There's been some sort of loss here, some sort of discontentment. Somebody may have lost an opportunity. They didn't see an opportunity for love, perhaps. Some of you may have regrets. They may have regrets. Oh my goodness gracious. Everything happens for a purpose with that temperance card. That is a card of purpose. Well, there, there we go. Now we got another card. Somebody may be coming in very quickly to heal a situation. Maybe they want another chance. They may have involved another woman. And that has crumbled. And now they may want to apologize. Now, and, and for some of you, this isn't the case. For some of you, there is somebody coming in. Because it's now, the time is now, you've manifested it. It could be somebody brand new. Now this is not seeing an opportunity. Maybe this person has been enlightened by who knows what. <laughs> enlightened. They've seen the light. Well, son of a bitch. Oh my God. I can't even get over it. There's been a previous rejection, but I think whoever this person is, they've come they've had some sort of midlife crisis and with these two cards, a major midlife crisis of some sort and now they've woken up. They're ready to come out of hiding. They've there's been a period of isolation, but I think that's coming to an end, I really do. Somebody has been sad and depressed. Unable to take any action. Doing a lot of thinking. A lot of overanalyzing here. In their own mental prison. We have somebody here that has been in their own prison. Holding on to a false sense of security. Probably another person. Another man or woman. I said woman, but somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security that isn't stable. It's not secure. It's not solid. It's whatever. They've been resisting change, but I think that's over with. It's like now I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've seen the light. I've changed. That's what I hear. I've changed. could be dealing with a water sign. You could be, all the signs are here now. It could be anybody. They might not have seen the love. They may not, they may have thrown away the love. They may not have been emotionally available, you know. Or maybe they didn't know what love was. Maybe they acted impulsively. 
trying to prove a point with that hangman. Somebody tried to prove a point. <laughs> and they wasted some time. And now they're probably finding the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower to face their fears. So that's what we got here. Somebody is about to face their fears, about ready to open up. We got somebody here that's ready to open up because it feels as though they want a chance. It's like they, they've changed. I've changed. I've healed. I've done a lot of healing work. It's like they, they see a golden opportunity here. This is a big opportunity. And I think that there's somebody is, is giving a gift, you know, definitely. Somebody is giving a gift or going to be receiving a gift. There's been a lack of respect. There's been a no communication or a or poor, 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 poor communication. No teamwork, no collaboration, no compromising with whoever this person was or is. There's been no teamwork. And I think somebody is definitely sad over, and they're regretting. They are regretting their, their dishonesty or their lack of integrity or whatever. I do see regrets here. I feel like there's definitely been no communication with this person, whoever it is. They've been waiting for the right time. And they probably have a lot of doubts. They probably have a lot of fears. They do, but I think they're about ready to face their fears. I think this person is on the edge of communicating. Yep. Yep, it's been a slow process. They've been planning. They want to make sure that they are ready. They want to make sure that they are stable. They want to make sure that they have something to offer you. I feel like this person has been waiting exactly for the right time. They probably know that you are very strong and determined yourself. They probably know that, you know, they will be forced to speak the truth. They probably know that, you know, you're going to you're going to say, "Hey, start talking." Be optimistic, try to be optimistic. You know, you want the truth, and I feel like this person probably knows that you want the truth, so that's why they've been planning. They they know that you're going to want the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, and that they need to find the strength and the courage to come with the truth. And I think that they're, they're coming. This is they're coming with the truth. So we got somebody here that is coming with the truth. They are very attracted to you. They see. They see your beauty. They do. They see your value as well. So, and I think they are very much, you know, they see your grace, they, they see your beauty. Um, but they also see your, that you are very powerful. They see that you're very powerful. They see that you're very assertive. They may be a little intimidated by you. There's definitely been a timeout. I think this is somebody that you know. I think there's been a timeout. You may need to take time to think about this when this person comes in. You may need to take a time out to reflect and uh, go within to figure out what what, what what is the, you know, it's going to cause you mental anguish. So, yeah, I feel like we have somebody that's going to come rushing into your life that is going to cause you some mental anguish. And you're probably going to need to take a time out, you know, to determine whether you want to let this person in or push them away. I feel like maybe you have many options and this is just one of them. You may be guarded. You may feel the need to protect yourself. I feel like this person wants to fight for you though. But there's definitely... <laughs> You know, there's there's some sort of regrets here. There's regrets. There's there. This is regrets. Somebody is. I think somebody is regretting not fighting for you. It 
and now they see your value. Now they see your worth. Now they see your abundance. You're, 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 you're it. You're it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they may have seen the pain that they caused. There's this pain. This this woman, she has endured a lot of pain to become the empress. So, you know, I see, the, I see a, an opportunity to... And maybe they see an opportunity to create something new with you. They, you're, you may be a creator. They see you as a creator. You're a creator. You're a healer. They see you as very nurturing and compassionate and caring and beautiful and abundant. So I feel like we have somebody here that, if you are the female, I mean, I know if you're a male, if you're a male, you probably are headed towards this empress, okay? For the male watching this reading, no matter what sign you are, this is, there's an empress here who is very valuable. She is in, she's experienced a lot of pain, which has made her very wise. She has a lot of life experience behind her back, and she will settle for nothing less than what she deserves at this stage in her life because she's already experienced the pain to know better. She can take care of business on her own. She knows that she can. She's strong enough. She's very powerful. She knows it. She knows what she's worth. She's beautiful. She knows her beauty. So if you are the man watching this, whatever sign you are, you you know, she knows her value. She knows her worth. And she does have multiple options. And I think we have this person that sees that she has multiple options and regrets the loss. And I think this person is, is going to come rushing in. With something in their hand. And I just do. I just feel like there's going to be something in their hand. And you're going to have to be optimistic. Try to be optimistic, okay? Try not to hurt them. I mean, she's got a weapon in her hand. Put the weapon down. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to hurt anybody. But, you know, just listen. Listen. Try to listen. Listen with an open mind. The weapon could be your tongue. Because that is the sort of communication. So let them talk. Let them talk. Let them speak. Be that empress. Act with grace. Somebody doesn't want you to move on. And that's why they're coming in so quickly. They probably see that you have another option. And now they want a fresh start. You know, they want to take the leap of faith. They want a clean slate. They want to start over. So, Virgo, this is what I have. You could be dealing with any sign. Whoever this person is, they are very attracted to you. They are rushing in. It's going to, it's, you don't even see it coming. They see your beauty. They see your worth. They see your ability to create and to grow and to heal. And that is what I have May 20th through the 26th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is being recorded on the 15th. This could resonate today or tomorrow, whenever. Timing is fluid. Somebody is about to have a fresh start, a new beginning. This is the birth of a new life. She gives birth to a new life. She has to experience pain first, though. To become the empress, she does have to experience pain. There's a reward, okay? So we do have a blessing coming. There's some sort of blessing coming in. But discernment is here, you know? You're going to have to take a time out to think about this. This person's coming after you. So I have to tell you, females, the empress doesn't chase. This person is coming after you. 
No joke. If you are the male watching this, this woman, the worthy woman, she's not chasing you. She's waiting for you. She's waiting for you. She's not coming after you. You have to come after her. She knows her value and worth. So get your fucking ass in gear. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.